In a world where the terrain is amplified, one man's survival journey continues. Let's play Survival Amplified with Daedalus822. Hey guys, this is episode 27 of my Amplified Survival series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be continuing to work on the base. Um, we're going to be finishing her off, hopefully. Uh, I did say I was going to spend a couple episodes, you know, bringing the base up, you know, because I've sort of been avoiding working on the base. But last episode, we started work. We put a second floor in and... Um, um, yeah, so hopefully this episode will uh, we'll get it all finished off because I, I want to do something with this back wall. I have something in mind. I thought about it really. I thought about it and yeah, so we're gonna move that back wall. Um, yeah, so I've got I got stuff to do there and we've got um, a hmm we got we got a door to put in out there. So there's two things we got to do today. Um, so the first thing off, we're going to put the piston door in. That's that's got to go in first. I have pistons, but of course, did I bring any slime balls up? And I've got three. That's eight. That should be oodles. Um, yeah, so I've got a slime farm now, so I can make sticky pistons. Fantastic. There we go. Three. That looked like a bloody eight to me. Um, come on. Do I have to run all the way downstairs just to get a few blooming slime balls? <laughs> I guess I do. That's not cool. I need six at least. Oh, whatever. We can get the rest of them ready. We can get the rest of it ready. I can put away. I know my my storage system is a mess, but I I do not have the iron to put any automatic sorting system in here yet. Um, yes, it is a it's it's a heaping mess. Um, so I gotta go get that. But we can get the redstone repeaters. And the redstone torches, and some redstone, and the door. We need some pressure plates. So come over here, and we get some of this. We need four pressure plates. So, um, whoops, four. You fruit loop, not two. There we go. Put that back. Okay. So what we can do first. What I can, what we can do first is we can go ahead and dig out what we need to dig out. Now, as I said last episode, I didn't, I didn't want the the entrance to be here anymore. Yeah, I got to get rid of this. It's just scaffolding right now. I wanted it to be in the center here, and it's, there's like a path under the ground that goes up into the base. Now I'm doing this because eventually there'll be a, there's going to be a path coming out in this wall here going down a few blocks anyway because I plan on putting my new mob farm when I start it out of uh, you know out on the ocean you know to in increase the performance of the of the, the efficiency of the mob farm you see so yeah well there's going to be a there's going to be a tunnel going out there so you know having the entrance here is probably a good thing you know I'm thinking of the future there's not enough room there's I can't put redstone all in here it just look weird and bulky and yeah, so not going to happen. So what we'll do first is quickly dig this tunnel out. And so, yeah, just, just I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what this is going to look like. So we sort of start going. Well, shovel of doom, I keep forgetting. Going down from there. So you don't hit your head. Okay, we get our stairs, which I did make some earlier. I just don't have enough sticky pistons. There we go, and we could probably replace this with this, and we could put torches there and fix that up. No, you're going to hit your head, that's too, that seems better. Okay, so what we'll do, yeah, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking, just thinking how much this is going to take up. So the piston doors is obviously going to sit here, pressure plates are going to sit here, piston doors are going to sit here, so... There, there's a gap here and a gap there. Okay, so that means I can take the wall back by a couple and put a torch in. Shut up, cows. Wow, you guys are annoying. Annoying ass. Okay, so take the wall back a couple. Oh, so this one goes in there. We can cover that up. So I guess here is fine. Piston doors don't need barely any redstone space, so that's good. Alright, so that should be. Our brand new piston doors going in there. So let's dig a tunnel back to base. Boo, I hear you. 
I need a harvester for all your leather, leathery goods, so I can make more bookshelves and decoration tools. And um, yeah, um, yeah. So we could put like an archway over that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just planning stuff in my head. It's just sort of bothering me, but not really bothering me. Uh, torch data, you fruit loop. Ah, here we go. So what I can actually do start steering it like this, and that should be enough not to hit your head. Well, I just I, it's got to feel spacious. It, it, like yeah, see see how that doesn't feel spacious. Like it, it feels like in real life you would smash your head against that. So no 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 one back. There we go. Yeah, that's better. That should be better. Yeah, no, that is better. That's good. Okay, so now we got the stairs in. Um, you can, I can go put a thing around it, but I won't bother. I won't bother fixing up the walls or anything. I'll do that off camera. Um, piston doors, piston doors. So what we can go ahead and do? We can put install the floor. I have eight. Wow, just eight. So what we'll do is stall the floor now. Grab our redstone dust. Flood the floor. Break that. Break that. Get our two repeaters, because I like a little delay. I don't need to use repeaters, but I like a little delay with my doors because Yeah, I can if you lag or something, you get squished. Um like that. And then yeah, the stick pistons go in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do really quickly, because I don't have the blooming stick and piston, the slime balls on me, I'm gonna run downstairs. I'm gonna grab some some slime balls, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. All right. Good stuff. All righty then, guys. I am back, and see, yeah, I've gone ahead and crafted those sticky pistons. Actually, I put all the the um. The the, the, the the normal pistons and the sticky pistons. Far out. That just slipped in my mind. Okay, and also I put some of the wall in. Well, I put most of the wall in. Most of the floors in as well. Haven't done the roof yet. So I've got to do that still. Um, I just did that off camera. You guys didn't need to watch that. I'm going to put the door in now. And cows, be quiet. <laughs> Far out. You drive everyone up the wall. Ah, can you hear that? You can't hear anything? Good. Because they were turned off. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to drive you guys up the wall. Alright, so let's go ahead and put these doors in really quickly. Um, give me some sticky pistons. Um, here, here, and here. Same with this side. Here, here, here. Crack this bad boy open real quick. So we've already put the repeaters in. Break that block. A piece of redstone goes there. And the torch goes on top of there. And you guys know how this all works. I don't need to explain it. Uh, and same with this side. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I need some of that spruce wood for the for the door itself. I like to use the spruce wood because, it's, you know, in Datacraft texture, it's got nails in it. And it sort of looks like a big wooden door when you, when you use it like that. Which is always good. It's got to go there. And done. Quite easy. Seal that up. So we don't see none of the, the redstone components there. Probably put a torch behind there. Just so no nasties sit in the wall and go. And she's done. Grab these. Um, grab the pressure plates out. Put them here. Oh, fantastic. So for now, I guess I'll just use cobblestone until I go get some of, of the the wood I want. But yeah, Nick, that cobblestone door horrible. Fantastic, good stuff. Stairs, take some stairs, put them upside down here. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's gonna bother me with the being so short, but. There's really nothing I could do. I could take it back, I suppose. No, because then I'll be cutting into the, the the cow pen. Yeah, no, that's a bad idea. All good. Let's me, let me quickly fix this up. And then we can move on to finishing off this base. 
space. Um, there we go. This side as well. Got to put some torches in so no nasty spawn. Put you here. Okay, so what I'm going to do also. Oh man, Shovel of Doom, it just rips everything apart. Let's do that. Yeah. And we could go ahead and put like an arch there. Even like some some what's my call it's here i don't know I i'll figure that out later i'll figure that out later i'm not going to play around too much um dirt where did i put that dirt so i can fix this damn hole up done and we put a torch here and then here oh not done how did you miss that you fruit loop there fantastic that's the new way to get in we can go ahead and fix that up um i'll get rid of the scaffolding later um, chickens don't need to be checked, so that's all good. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, got to fix this floor up real quick. Just change it over wood. So it looks like the tunnel will, con 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 will run that way. And, well, give me that back. It will run that way when I start the mob farm. Out in the middle of the ocean. Because we can either put it behind the mountain, which would, there will be a tunnel running that way. Or we can put it out the side of the mountain, which a tunnel will run that way. So it's it's worked out it's worked out real well. You know what? Just thought of something. What if I put upside downstairs there? And I'll fix that up later. Yeah, that looks better. Fantastic, good stuff. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean my inventory out. Just just clean it out. Cleaning, clean. Okay, nice and clean. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is want to go up here, and I want to rip out this entire wall. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take it back six blocks because I've got an idea in my head. We're going to see if it works out. So six blocks from this wood. So that's that would be one, two, three, four. Five, six. There. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean all this out. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. And I've gone ahead and moved the entire wall back. As you can see, there's six blocks. I've already made it look pretty. And I've already done all that off camera. So you, you, know, you don't get to see all the boring work. Um, I'm just after this one block that I've missed. And it's going to kill people with OCD to have it sitting out. You know, right there in the middle of nowhere. Okay, there. Got rid of it. Okay, so yeah, as you can see. Yep. Scaffolding, I know, I know. It's leftover scaffolding. So as you can see, I've moved the entire wall back by six blocks. And I've put the floor in and I've put some torches down so it's not so dark. So now, I've got an idea to put stairs, like three wide stairs, come up here. And on both sides, come up here. And then, like, curve and go up to there because that there is a, meant to be a viewing platform you know you're meant to get beautiful views and and all that but um yeah i, I was going to use a ladder to get up to it and nah so those stairs i'm thinking those stairs and then in the center here we have a, a nice tall hallway to go down bedroom brewing stations and stuff you know all sorts of stuff that we can create in there later on anyway we might as well just jump right into it and get to get started so I've got to figure out, do I start here or do I... Oh, I can't build a... I was going to build a couple up then turn, but I just realized you're going to hit your head. So, looks like we must leave a three gap. So, one, two, three. And go out by three like that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's going to work, work out okay. So, it looks good in my head, but hey, we'll see if it looks decent once we're done. Once we're done it. So what we'll do is we'll go up, just take a rough guess where we need to go up. Then we'll go on the other side and do the, exactly the same thing because we're going to make it all even and and see if it, um, you know, turns out to be okay. If this is not okay, then we can rip it down and we'll do something else. But I don't know. It should be fine. It should be fine. Okay. So we're round about almost where we need to be. We'll go up. Probably two more, and then stop, then go do the other side. And then we need to do the center, and see what that looks like. Do you 
nasty out there somewhere. Okay, so one, two, three. Yep, definitely one, two, three. And you don't hit your head, which is good. Same thing. Come over here. Here we go. One, two, three. And then on the fourth. So it's just a three gap, really. And then we're going to go up. Slowly. Ever so slowly. There's no fast way to build build like this, I don't think. So hopefully this meets up in the middle nicely. And then we've got some stairs going up to the top to the roof. Then we got a lovely view. Almost there. Almost there, guys. So hopefully, probably, not sure, not a hundred percent sure. Um, might probably at next episode get started on an, on the mob farm that I want to get built, but I have to get some mining done before we actually start on that because I'm going to need a ton of gold. Hmm, if I go up one more, it only leaves two gab. Hmm. So, hang on a sec. Yeah, if I went up one more to there, then I could only put two wood in there. No. Okay, so I've got 34 wood left. What we'll do is break that the wood in here so it gives the three wide make a four wide like that and put a torch up here so we don't get no nasties and then we curve we only have a two wide in the middle like this going right up to the ceiling and then we need to like make some fence posts and stuff and um, hmm, looks like I'm going to have to dig out the roof finally this is how you're going to get up the top oh no not there um stairs oh no no i don't have any oh you said four more stairs oh wow and we're up fantastic so we've got to put some railing up here and um yeah oh, this needs to come back one more and let's put a couple of torches up here too, just to um, eliminate nasties for a little while. And we're gonna have to pit, we're gonna have to use glowstone or something. Yeah, they're not they're not in light, they're not even. But oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's run downstairs real quick. Now, what I want to do, ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna grab this back. We're going to go downstairs. I'm, I'm currently smelting more stone down, so we could probably craft some more stairs because I actually need a few more stairs. But also, I need some fence, some fencing. So I'll grab one of these stacks of spruce wood and turn them all into planks, and then turn all these into sticks like this. And then we're going to go ahead and make a ton of fences, probably way more than I actually ever need. Bam. And stairs as well to go along with it. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing. There we go. That, that's that's probably too much stairs. Alright. So now we go back up the top. And this is what we're going to be doing. Alright. Go back up. So first off, we're going to seal up. Yeah, I'd say about that. We're going to seal this up on both sides. So this is you could you probably turn this into like a jam bloody little closet or something I don't know, but we're gonna seal this up because it's not part of what I'm thinking and it looks horrible, absolutely horrible right now. If we get rid of it, like that. And same with this side, exactly the same with this side. Hmm. Go up. Make sure there's a torch in there so you, you know you don't get the. The nasties in the walls. I oh, when I always create ba bases, I always forget to put the tor torches in the walls. And then you always hear later on, like a mob will spawn in there, and then you'll hear the zombie go, ah. He's like, what the hell? He's right in the wall somewhere. And then, I guess I'll scaffold up for that. Ouch. Scaffold up here. So this is going to be our new hallway that I was talking about. And we build this up like that. Side downstairs. Oh, okay, I need to go back on the scaffolding a little bit. Oh, wrong one, you fruit loop. You fruit loop. Okay, there we go. 
lovely. All right, let's get off, get down from here. Maybe a really tall, but hey, doesn't matter. It's looking good. And now we're going to go on the edges and go ahead and put in these blocks with fences. Quite simple, quite easy. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. So I will get this in here like that. All right, I'll be right back in a sec, guys, as soon as I've done this. Alrighty then, guys, I am back, and as you can see, I've put the rails in, and i put some upside down stairs in. I think, look, I, I think it turned out better than I expected. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, yes. Definitely way better than I expected, that the stair there. It, re it really, really matches downstairs. That's awesome. And just made me realize that the actual bottom floor, the storage area, is actually off-centered. Because, yeah, it definitely is. Because the stairway is obviously off-centered. But I just realized that that means this pillar is off-centered. The whole thing's got to come over by one. Yeah, see, this pillar here is the block before the glass. And I bet you any money this pillar over here, which is right there, will be, yeah, block before the glass. Uh, block after the after a block so glass glass block yeah so this whole thing on this side here needs to be moved over and I could just count anyway one two three and then stairs and I bet you it's like it's different on this side yep one two then stairs yeah so this whole thing needs to be moved over but yeah it's just that just started now that's gonna bother me but wow doesn't that look good that that looks good I like it and the upside down stairs really makes it work Okay, so what we're going to do real quick before we go, because it's we're, we're, run, we're just going over time. Um, we're going to go down here and I'm going to quickly craft a one, two. We're going to quick, quickly craft some shears and we're going to go outside. No, we're not going to go outside because it's bloody dark and we're going to get eaten by everything. So quickly jump into bears, hurry up, make it daylight. And then we're going to run outside quickly with our new hallway, which I haven't done the roof yet. No door. And we're going to come over here and we're going to shave the tree. Feels like a shovel of doom, doesn't it? So we're going to grab all these here. We're going to shave off the tree. We're just going to go them off. We're going to add a couple of plants around the top level. And we'll suppose we'll chop down the tree as well. So, And there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, six will do just fine for this. So, shears will allow you to get leaves off a tree, all right? So, just say it before you scream hacks or whatever. <laughs> Some people actually don't know that. They, they, they literally do not know that. So, we're just pointing that out. And we're going to come up here and we're going to try a couple of things. So I'm going to say here and here. And we're going to do this. I don't have any trap doors right now, but that will do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now putting, starting to put a bit of color into it. Oh, yeah. Putting a bit of color into it definitely is working. I'm going to put a few of these around my base now. Wow. That's fantastic. So, you're actually meant to... You're actually meant to put trap doors on the sides of these logs. And what it, what it forms is it looks like a pot plant. With, with a plant in it, that's what it looks like, a little hedge thingy the jig. So you put trap doors and you, you close them down and yeah, it's supposed to look good. So yeah, we got, I got more fu future plans for there, but I'm not sure if we're going to start them next episode. I think we might, I'm not confirming, we might start on that mob farm that I want to start on. I just, yeah, now I've got a lot of work done on the base. I mean, a lot of work has been done on the base now. I think we could probably, possibly move on. Um, I'm not sure yet, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 27 and join, join me for episode 28. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll uh, catch you all later. Click to the left to watch the previous episode or to the right to watch the next episode if it's available. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to join the conversation at www.dataless822.net.